Hi again. It's hard to believe that it is now uh, the anniversary of what was the first lockdown uh, at the beginning of the COVID pandemic. And the way I feel as I reflect on these past 12 months is, well, it's a bit like it says in scripture, you know, the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth be silent before him. There is a certain stillness and solemnity as we reflect on all that's happened in the last year. I'm thinking about all those that were so dear to me that I've lost to COVID. Thinking of those in my own family and amongst my friends that suffered from COVID and they're still suffering from long COVID. Thinking of how it's impacted not only our own community here in uh, the Isle of Skye, but uh, throughout all the communities across our nation and the nations of the, the world. I'm also thinking about the impact of the various lockdowns. Yes, there were no doubt positive effects from it, but there was also very negative effects and very conscious of those for whom it has been such a struggle and such uh, a hard time to, to, to get through. So as I reflect on the 12 months, there is a, a real solemnity about it. But also as I, I look forward now, I, I feel there, there is so much more to be really positive about. We are beginning to see the easing of lockdown measures. I know that so many of you will be uh, very excited about uh, the prospect of returning to in-person services in church over the next uh, few weeks. And we look forward to further easing over uh, the coming months, months that will allow us perhaps to travel and to see uh, loved ones again. We're also so thankful for the continued rolling out of the uh, vaccine programme. And indeed, later on today, I will be receiving uh, my own vaccine uh, for COVID and, and I am so uh, thankful for that. And yet, as we are anticipating perhaps seeing things improving and uh, perhaps even coming to an end, it's strange that I think for most of us, we still feel a bit flat, a bit wearied. And sometimes we wonder why that would be. I know that it's hard to believe as you look at me now, but I used to do a fair bit of uh, running and, and cycling and a bit of exercise. Uh, and I would occasionally run a kind of half marathon. The strange thing is I didn't find the beginning of the half marathon difficult, not even the middle of it. The bit I found really difficult was when you hit kind of mile 12 because you were beginning to anticipate the finish line, but you weren't there yet and you knew you just had to keep going. And that's the way it kind of feels just now. We feel we're kind of anticipating the finishing line, but we're not there yet. We still have to keep going with still a number of the restrictions and everything else that is in place at the moment. And I think that's why we're feeling a bit uh, wearied. But as I do reflect on these past 12 months, that the one thing that I've been very conscious of is the fact that God has been with us in it all, through it all. That he has been for us that refuge and strength, the ever-present help. Some of you may know that uh, each week I add my name to a list of uh, other church uh, leaders calling uh, on uh, the people of God to pray each Sunday, seven o'clock with respect to the COVID pandemic. And that call to prayer, and, and indeed a written prayer is, is uh, published weekly and you find it on the Church of Scotland website. And I was really struck by the one that's been uh, produced uh, for this uh, coming Sunday. That reminds us of the passage in Hebrews that speaks of Jesus, who in the days of his flesh offered up prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears. And it says, in all our reflections at this time, we remember the one who prayed for us in the days of his flesh and who even now lives to pray for us once more. 
And then there comes the prayer. Living God, in whose image we are made, hear us, we ask, through your Son who prays for us. Hear us as we recall all we have endured as a community and nation in the year that has passed. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Living God, who knows us in all our suffering, hear us, we ask, through your Son who prays for us. Hear us as we reflect across the nation and remember those who have suffered the deepest loss. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Living God, whose name is love, hear us, we ask, through your Son who prays for us. Hear us as we reach out our hand to those who suffer still and stand with them in the face of all that is to come. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so it goes on till we come to the last part of the prayer, but it says this. Living God, who gives light to the world, even in the face of darkness, hear us, we ask, through your Son who prays for us. Hear us as we bow in the presence of the one who in the days of his flesh shed tears for us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. I think that for most of us, the experience over this past year, difficult, trying, challenging though it has been, is that we have known the presence of God. We have known the help of Jesus Christ. We have known him who sheds tears for us and who prays for us, whoever lives to make intercession for us, giving to us his all-sufficient grace to keep and to carry us through. It is my prayer that not only for today, but in the days, the weeks, the months, as we run this final mile, that we will all know the great presence of our loving Saviour and the strength that he gives. Take care. God bless. We'll speak again soon.